In the 1973 yearbook of the Tehran American School, the teacher so many knew and trusted as Mr. Vahi, now revealed to be a paedophile who abused that trust for years. Investigators are now picking through William Vahi's past, trying to establish just who he abused in a career that took him around the world. Images of between 50 and 60 pupils at London's South Bank International School were found on Vahi's computer drive. It was when the FBI got their hands on that drive and went to court to obtain a search warrant that Vahi took his own life in a motel room. Agents now leading the search for Vahi's victims say they've rarely seen abuse on this scale. Without a doubt, this is um, certainly one of the most uh, prolific suspected sexual predators that we've seen, given the numbers of children, potential victims, um, his position of trust, and so forth, and some of the allegations and the methods that are being alleged that he may have employed while committing these crimes. And we're going to continue on with the ongoing investigation. Just because the suspect chose to not face justice doesn't mean the FBI is going to stop seeking justice. For parents of pupils taught by Vahi around the world, these are agonizing times. We know there's a lot more fallout to come, and I think that that's what we're dreading. It's what comes next, because the pictures only go back so far. We don't know, are there other pictures that are going to be coming out? Whose children are on those pictures? My, my heart goes out to them as a mother. In interviews, Vahi said he gave his victims sleeping pills, so many may not even know they were abused. The FBI says it believes that abuse could date back decades. It was here in California that Vahi began what was to become decades of child abuse. His conviction for child molestation here in 1970 as a 20-year-old swimming coach should have put him on the sex offenders register for life. That it didn't, that that risk he posed wasn't highlighted, remains one of the big questions in this case. Just because Vahi chose not to face justice, investigators say they won't stop seeking it. Greg Milam, Sky News, Los Angeles.